Hey folks, it's Eric from Support Adventure and I'm coming to you from Thailand and I wanted to make a video about the difference between Zoom and TeamViewer because there are a lot of overlapping features but they are essentially different programs um, that have sort of evolved in different ways in the tech support industry. Now TeamViewer is um, a remote support tool at its core that added sort of video conferencing features somewhere along the line and also has file transfer features. Zoom, again, it also has added meeting features as well. Now Zoom is a video conferencing tool, which I'm actually using to record this video right now, which is very good for recording, by the way. Video conferencing tool that also evolved to have screen sharing abilities, remote control abilities, and, you know, sort of edging into what people use TeamViewer for. So a lot of the time, people are confusing the features of these two programs. And I wanted to make this video to sort of tell you which would be appropriate in which circumstance. So right now, I want to record a video. I want to have a nice file I can upload to YouTube after this. And Zoom is a great way to do this. And I, you know, and if I want somebody to be able to connect with me, um, Zoom is a great way to do this in terms of video chat. And having meanings of a bunch of people, Zoom is designed for that. Sharing the screen, not so much. It seems a little slower than TeamViewer and the remote control isn't as powerful. You can't share files and it just lags behind TeamViewer in terms of the focus and speed of the remote control abilities. Now you might not notice this in certain applications. So Zoom is meaning focused and you can record the videos fairly easily, get a file that you can upload to various things, get a cloud recording that you can share with people really easily. So for all of your teleconferencing things, I would, I would say that Zoom is the best one to use. Now, it's not as secure as TeamViewer and TeamViewer isn't the most secure thing in the world either, but we won't need to discuss that. But Zoom, a lot of the time you can have these meeting rooms that don't have any sort of password to get in and you could have all sorts of people coming in when you don't want them to come in. And this is something we're hearing about more and more. So if you're sharing any sort of sensitive information, I would favor TeamViewer just in case, you know, somebody happens upon your Zoom room. Now there is the ability to make a password to enter the Zoom meeting rooms that happens in the share, but still it's, it's not the best for security. Now TeamViewer, is password protected by default when you're connecting to someone else's computer. It, um, you can put in, yeah, for remote access circumstances, you can install it on a computer and have unattended access, meaning the computer reboots or whatever, and it starts automatically and you can log in from anywhere at any time if you have the ID number and password. So both sort of work on an ID number, what you're connecting to, but Zoom has like a meeting room sort of scenario where you are connecting into a Zoom room somewhere and everybody's connecting to the same URL. TeamViewer, I think there's a feature like that. I haven't used it, but mostly what you're doing is connecting to another person's computer, seeing their screen. So with Zoom, you start with teleconferencing and then share the screen. With TeamViewer, you start sharing the screen and then you go with um, teleconferencing. So they're completely different things, but for tech support, TeamViewer is much more powerful because of the unattended access, because of the fact that you can install it and bypass the Windows user account control, which will, if on Zoom, you won't be able to do a lot of the things that you would be able to do on TeamViewer if this feature was enabled, if it was installed properly. And if you're delivering tech support, definitely TeamViewer is much better because it gives you the ability to transfer files, gives you the ability to, um, you know, have unattended access and all that sort of stuff. So, Long story short, I mean, TeamViewer also has recording facilities and basically both products are achieving the same ends, but they're doing it through coming from different angles in the industry. So if you are focused on teleconferencing, get Zoom. If you're focused on providing remote control of computers, get TeamViewer. And if you want an alternative to TeamViewer, there's lots of them out there. And if you want an alternative to Zoom, there's lots of them out there. And some you might already have like um, Google Hangouts, for example, which comes free with Google accounts and Microsoft Teams, which comes free with um, Office 365 accounts and so on and so forth. So whichever is right for you, just make sure you realize what the benefits and disadvantages of each are before you choose which one you're gonna use with your team. and 
bonus round is that for meetings and stuff, you can integrate Zoom with Calendly, which is a booking um, platform where people can go on a website, see when they can book you for a meeting, punch it in, make the appointment, and it automatically generates a unique Zoom link for that meeting. And basically, you log on to that meeting at the time and you can hit record and then you have the recording made in such a way that it is tagged with, uh, or the description is who you're talking to and all that sort of stuff. So that integration works very well for me and my business purposes where I have various people, prospective clients, current clients, contractors, candidates who want to work with my company and various vendors all booking meetings with me on Zoom. TeamViewer, I don't think it has that functionality. But for controlling different people's computers, logging onto servers and all that stuff, that's what I use uh, TeamViewer for. And I'm a paid user of both of them and I love both of these products. They of course both have their disadvantages and both have their advantages and have both been around for a while and are both an integral way of how I'm running my business. So thanks a lot. Hope you enjoyed. Any questions you have, write them below. This is Eric from Support Adventure coming to you from Thailand. Bye now. Take care.